Welcome to episode 13 of Bulletproof Underwear with my special guest, Yam Juice and Flex. We turn the tables tonight. We're dropping the underwear like a Catholic girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ken, what's going on? We're going Sam. deep tonight. We're going to go deep behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna check out so the I bacon stripes of the Bulletproof steak. Underwear. Absolutely. We got our little hats on. We're carrying the theme. I got my foil behind me so I can uh, communicate with Yam. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to turn bulletproof underwear inside out. <laughs> We're turning it inside out. We're dropping it like a $10 whore. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So how'd y'all come up with this? Uh, who, who came up with that idea of bulletproof underwear? How, how'd that come about? Tell us. We all want to know. I think we've talked about it in bits and pieces through m multiple episodes, but go behind the scenes. How did it happen? Who, who dreamed this up? Well, I think I had the idea of a podcast uh, just because I'd seen some other people's podcasts, Painkiller Already and The Bad Kid Show. Uh, and, uh, you know, Flex was totally on board with it, and uh, we we're trying to come up with a name. How, how, how long did we try to come up with a name? Like three or four days we were trying to come up with oh, names. Yeah. Battled with the with the name for a few days, yeah. and uh, I had a a signature. One of my signatures was bulletproof underwear, and we saw that and we were like, "Hey, that sounds like a good name." So yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think the I think the first episode started out a little slow. For some reason, you did some clown, but I think we've become accustomed to it now, and now it's become a a, a regular. I'm, I, what does it take to get it up on the air? I know we talked about it a lot on the forums that you know, take you guys put in a lot of work. I want people to appreciate what you do. So, give us a little bit of after this episode. What do you got to do to get it up? <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes a crane to get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Big lips <laughs> <feel. laughs> <Yep, laughs> <most>, Yep <laughs> does, yep does most of the editing and stuff. Um, we both capture it so that we got a fail safe in case one or the other of our. I have a whole bunch of questions, by the way. So just. Keep oh, going. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that we both capture it has saved our ass a couple of times because, like, I thought I had it, and like I was, like, part of the audio was missing, and Flex thought he had it, and part of the audio was missing, or the video was messed up. So it works out really great that we both capture it. Insurance policy. Yeah, absolutely. And we have this thing but, called the Dropbox, and we can sh yep. swap files back and forth real easy. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever used the Dropbox. No, I never have. Of course, I'm I'm highly not technical. So. Uh, <laughs> but Yamp does most of the editing. I mean, he does the production work and all that stuff. I do it too, but he's much better at it than I am. So we use his. So I will say that I've noticed that the uh, quality of the uh, graphics and everything has gone up, even in your little crazy little. We'll get to that one in a minute. Never mind. We won't go there yet. Just, just. Uh, so you both have your own channel, right? Or no? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah. So plug it. What's your channel, Yam? Uh, believe what? All one word. Just believe what? On YouTube. Flex pictures. We'll give My some advertisement on your own channel here. <laughs> yeah. My channel is XZ Flex ZX. Mm -hmm. And I have, I think, 120 videos up there now. They're mostly gaming videos, but. Yeah, uh, the one you posted are Borderlands. You cost me $60 or that, just for the record. I'm sorry, I did that to people. So is that yeah. what is that what pushed you over the edge? Yeah, I uh, woke up that morning and. Uh, You'd already posted the, the video, and uh, believe it or not, on my way to my real job, I go right by Walmart. So I, and since I am the clown, I did go in there, I get a little discount, I get treated pretty special. Hey, clowny, what's up? You know, all that good stuff. So I walked in there, and uh, yeah, they treat me like a clown. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> so have you uh, put, put, gone back to Call of Duty ever since you started playing this game? So I, I have. I, I think Flex mentioned, and there's one with Penny's. Uh, I still gotta, I still gotta play a little. I, I like Call of Duty. I just can't help myself. Well, speaking of which, one of the questions was so if if 
you're on a if you're on an island, you can only have one game. What game are you bringing? Like, me- <clears throat> At this point, I would bring Black Ops. You bring Black Ops. What game would you bring, Flex? Oh, jeez. It wouldn't be Modern Warfare 3. I think Black Ops 2. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, there Black go. Ops, not Black Ops 2. It's not, I don't yet, but Black oh, Ops. Okay. I love Black Ops. Black Cocks. Well, oh, well yeah. what about you, uh, Ken? What would you bring? Uh, I would probably bring uh, I, I, any of the uh, Call of Duties. Uh, for me, personally, there's not a hill of beans difference for me, personally, between the two of them. I'll play whichever one everybody else wants to play. It's still the same interface, same everything. I'm doing the same thing. I still get killed. I suck at all the games. <laughs> so you don't have a, a preference over once, like one's got a different set of, you know, kill streaks. One's got different kind of maps. I I think they all have pluses and minuses. I uh, what I liked about Modern Warfare Three was the way they did prestiges. I thought it was. I thought the token idea was fantastic. Allowed you to bring a gun. I think they in the prior games they punished you way too hard for uh, prestige. Oh yeah, Black, Enemy, Black Ops for oh, grind. It's a bitch to get that uh, sentry gun, especially now because nobody, you know. Well, I'll tell you what, Ken. Yeah. I'll run sentry gun and I'll and I'll throw it to the enemy just for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys talk a lot outside of uh, bulletproof underwear. So tell. Me something about the other one that nobody knows. Well, everybody already knows that Plex doesn't sleep. So. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I sleep. Uh, I sleep about four hours a night, three hours a night, and then after I do that for about a week or two, and then I hit the wall and end up sleeping like 13, 14 hours at a time. Yeah. So what do I know about Let's, Flex that other people don't know? I know way too much. <laughs> I just got it up. We're, go, we're dropping underwear, remember? Come on, work with that's me. That's right, that's right. We. Uh, well, I know that he's uh, he's a good dad. I don't know how if uh, if the viewers are, are aware of that, but he's got a daughter that, uh, you know, he's, a, he's a, like a stay-at-home dad, and he takes good care of her. Yeah, we've met her in some of the episodes, yep. Paige, right? That's right. (laughs) She's put out a couple of, uh, you know, she's been in a couple of his videos. Yeah. Some of the better ones. (laughs) 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 So it's better when you have kids. So, so Flex, tell us something about Yam we don't know. Um, let's see. What is something about Yam we don't know? I am, we're, we're taking. Um... There's God. a camp go appearance. I'm trying to think. I'm, it, my, can't you smell the smoke? I'm thinking. Yeah, I can smell the smoke right here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an open book. Everybody so, knows everything about me. I guess you know. no. I guess what, what some people don't know about Yam is well, they may, maybe they do, but he's really into a lot of technical stuff, a lot of different stuff, and one of the other things that. A lot of people may not know is that he has a has a, a little band that he has put together and he uh, uh, plays makes uh, original music. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you posted a while back on one of your songs. I think that I think that kind of surprised me too. The sensitive side of Yam we never seen. Oh yeah, yeah I don't know. That, yeah. Well, I'll tell you this much: uh, Flex is a lot more talkative. Than, uh, than, than maybe people realize, you know. At least he is with uh, when me and him are, are, are yammering on. You can't shut him the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> we. I try and drink enough amp before we do the shows so that I'm talkative when we do the shows. Yeah. But sometimes it doesn't work. But. So what we got going? I got uh, I got mild water. Is that that homebrew stuff? No, that's the stuff that comes in a little thing. You squirt it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your home brewed little uh, stuff. Diet do. Hooked on the do. I was drinking too many sodas, so I went to this Milo water. Man, I drink ton of water now. So uh, do you find that you're adding more and more flavoring to the water, getting it stronger and stronger? Yeah, I get it palatable. Otherwise, water kind of tastes like 
water. So are, are you one of those people who goes to the grocery store and, and buys big containers of uh, bottled water? <laughs> nope, I take mine right out of the faucet. Anne likes to do that. She she comes home with these 24 packs of fucking water. We're buying water. Yeah, I know. So you're probably like me. Uh, you were raised by depression children. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, just, the concept of buying water just isn't it to me. You know, the, Does it the guy who thought of the idea, we're going to put wa water in bottles and sell it for just about the same price as Coke. Yeah. That guy is a fucking genius. A genius? Yeah. Let me get the bottle of water. Huh? I, uh, we buy bottled water, but the only reason we buy bottled water is... Wait, wait, wait. You just cut out, Flex. You buy bottled I water? Have, I buy bottled water because I got the kidney stone thing, so I like to drink Yeah, so I have a reverse osmosis because my wife gets those too, but... Hold it. This one oh, Hold it up so we can see the label good. Oh yeah, I've seen that stuff. That's yeah, good. I thought that was eye drops. No wonder I was crying so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was lubricant. Yeah, look what Ann just put put right by my desk here. That's a big bag of Doritos. Thank you, honey. There's not hot Doritos, though. I know. Well, she wanted some that she can eat, so uh, she doesn't buy the hot ones. So I'm surprised. Uh, well, maybe it's just because it's a different uh, company, but uh, I'm, we didn't do the Doritos or any of that double XP crap this time for the release. Well, it's still early. They might come up with some bullshit. And they got to hurry because, what, it's only less than 60 days away, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 50. What well, hell? I don't know. I haven't done the math, but it's... Uh, uh, well, you were on it before. You knew exactly every time. Oh, what God damn it. All right. Oh, wow. I left my cell phone on. Are you staying up all night? I, are you just going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the midnight thing, and I'm also uh, planning on taking the day off from work. Yeah. I'm going to take the day off. Me and General... I was talking about going over to General Slide's house and... Uh, Doing an all night party over his house. I did uh, Borderlands. I started at quarter after midnight and I made it till 10 o'clock in the morning before I hit the wall. There's 49 days. 49 days. You got it pre ordered? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yes, indeed. From GameStop? GameStop, yeah. And yeah, see, I won't give GameStop my business. Walmart. <laughs> So I'm going to go stand in line with 200 I, other people. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do GameStop, but it's like I've been going there long enough. It's like I had a controller that was like a year old and it broke and I brought it in there. And I asked them, you know, is there any way to repair them? And I'm the manager's like, yeah, there sure is. And he grabbed a brand new one off the shelf, handed it to me and took the old one and sent it in as defective. And oh, gave me a, yeah, so yeah. it's like... I, I get benefit from GameStop, but yeah, I makes, go if I got that with that. It's around, I don't know. Just real small hole in the wall pieces, and then they, I think they build up the hype too. So I go into Walmart and I'll sit there with the uh, photograph when I come in because of the crazy. But uh, and I end up at Walmart Martian site. But yeah, there's usually about twenty to thirty of us in there. So I preferred it from them. So, uh, oh, have you ever done a midnight dumb. release at Walmart? Do they are they yeah. are they open at midnight? Yeah, Modern Warfare Three. There was, like I said, there was about twenty five. I was standing in line. That's a pretty small line compared to GameStop. That gets you, quick. That gets you home quick. Yeah, so that's why I go there. And who thinks of Walmart for your gaming uh, needs, right? At midnight. Well, do they have uh, do they have all the other shit that you need? I, I don't have a Walmart real close to me. I have to drive a long way. <laughs> what other shit do I need? I had to get that on the street corner going in if I'm going to stay up all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, you know, you know, they got uh, all the little accessory stuff that you might want or need: rechargeable controllers, headsets. Yeah, they they have that. They don't have, uh, like the other night, I had to go to GameStop because I needed 250 meg. Uh, Excuse me, my dog is like annoying. I think he's telling you, you need to go outside. 
That's because Ann is, is uh, bringing in all the groceries by herself. I'm sorry, honey. I'm recording. This is such a great excuse. Can we do this all the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just lucky you got a nice wife. <laughs> yeah. Ordinarily, I would have to uh, I would have to be uh, hauling groceries in. <clears throat> so is that drink blue or is it just a glass? So the glass is blue, but the drink happens to be blue too in this particular case. But the, this is uh, yeah. So because of the Milo water, I drink close to a gallon a day now. Whereas I used to drink, I would there were some days that I literally drank no water, none, zero. Well, I mean, beer, that's got to count for something. <laughs> yeah, well, that's made with water, right? Artesian water, some BS like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what brand of beer do you usually drink on average? I don't I don't drink a lot of beer. So when I do drink, I uh, I drink Dos Equis. And I have the commercial coast. Wait, I rarely drink. I don't always drink beer. But when I do... <laughs> yes, that one. Yeah, Isn't that, is that Dos Equis? That's the Dos Equis yep. guy. Yeah, so I rarely drink beer, but when I do, it's those things. So does that mean you're the most interesting man in the world? Lord, no. <laughs> I actually work with a guy who looks just beer. like him and talks just like that guy. We call him the most interesting man in IT. <laughs> you, go on, uh, well, you don't drink beer anyway, you just rent it. That's right. The most interesting yeah. man in IT, that'd be like the world's tallest midget. So, so he he looks like that guy, and he talks just like that guy. He's amazing. Really, <laughs> he could fit. He could do the commercial. He could be a double. So does he? Does he pick up all the all the ladies because of that? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm at work. Hey, my oh, your McDonald's is on top of the piano in the living room. What? Your McDonald's is on top of the piano. Oh, I, I I brought some fast food. Thank I didn't you. know she was going to be at the grocery store. How old is it? It's about forty-five minutes old. <laughs> Because, you know, after a while, that expires, like, after about 45 minutes. It well, the French fries are probably not super great anymore, but, uh, you know, a little nuke, and they're back to normal. Yeah. So, yeah, go enjoy, sit down, take a load off, but keep nice and quiet. <laughs> no, you got... We got our cameo appearance. That's all I was after. That's this. all yours I look for that. I look for that in every, every episode, because, you know, I skip over... I, I hit the high points. I'd have Shelby do it. Oh, oh so yeah. <laughs> hey, you leave that leave that chicken on. So, <laughs> what's up with that, you little pedophile? Where did that come up? How did you come up with that? I know it's that foil room, so that's, I'm trying to get in touch with it. Well, Game Jesus would kick me around for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's fucked up. <laughs> Hey, uh, believe what? How do you like having a hand up your ass? <laughs> when you tell us where you're at, we will send the authorities. Actually, I like it here. Uh, no, that's that's the whatever you put in your drink. It's talking. What are those called? Roofie. That's the roofie he's talking. Game Juice is a hell of a man. He's all man, too. Yeah. <laughs> I about your size is about all he can please, we know. <laughs> wow! Yeah. He's pitching a pup tent right now. <laughs> <laughs> a one man tent. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, get it get out of here. Get out of here. Scram. God. So that that was actually on the list. Just uh when I, when you put that up, I go, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we got to get him out of that boil room. It's, I didn't even like, see. The, it's frying even his see, little brain. <laughs> I didn't even see the video. I, he did. He played the audio for me, and my wife and I were listening to it, and we were laughing so hard there was. I, I almost had tears coming down my eyes, man. It was. <laughs> I, had to, I, had to, I had to. I was actually going to try and. Uh, I'm not. A video guy, but I was gonna I was gonna pull it out and have it playing in the background and then uh, have a newscast. But I, so I ended up just writing a manhunt or that, or I was gonna pull it out and take your sound out of it completely and then overdub my own. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know that that post that you put up uh, that that I don't know that went like three or four pages long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had, 
you know, I have to come up with some rebuttal for you. It just I can't let you get away scot free. I know. Well, <laughs> me and me and Flex know that uh, that you're a funny guy, and that's uh, that's what you're all about. <laughs> it's like I saw that. I go, oh my god. It's just- it just oh fed it fed God. both posts, man. They both kept getting hits from it. It was funny. Yeah. I thought it was great. So okay, we're gonna plug we're gonna plug sub one gaming dot com here. It's for uh it's for gaming is fun and skill is irrelevant. Ooh, look at this. KDR <laughs> KDR don't matter. Look, it's for, for snacking, it's ribs. Oh, nice. But I already had my McDonald's, so. Tomorrow. You can have a McRib now. Oh, those are so good. They are. I look forward to them coming out every year. Oh, I wish I could still have a McRib. They, they, they just come out of the woodwork like one minute. Uh-huh. They just all of a sudden you see an ad and they're they're available for a couple of weeks. And then they vanish. That's because their meat they make them out of is a big, very rare animal. The cow? No. Think, sm- think smaller think. and more legs. Yeah, I can't tell you what they're made <laughs> of. <laughs> they are, but, but they are tasty. <laughs> yeah. they, they are good. I, I look for them every year. So what's, your, what's your favorite restaurant then? You know what? I like diners. Uh... I like any yeah. restaurant that has button tufted booths. If it has button tufted booths, I'm probably going to like that restaurant. Whether it's a chain or it's a mom and pop kind of thing. If it has squishy booths and metallic metal fleck, you know, vinyl, it's the kind of restaurant for me. And if the rest, if the waitress is named Flo, even better. That's the, it's a plus, right? And the cook's name is Mel. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, as long as. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Flex? What? What? What's? Uh... I like. Uh, there's a restaurant called Hulans. I don't know if it's a chain or if it's local here to, to Twin Cities, but uh, I like Hulans. They've got a lot. It, it's a family-oriented variety-type meal restaurant. They got just about anything you can imagine to eat. So, I like Hulans. Hulans sounds good. Flex. Are you a native uh, Minnesotan? Yes, as much as you can tell when I talk, I talk a lot of this, air, and that, and the other thing. And I'm a native Minnesota. I grew up in southern Minnesota, and now I live in the Twin Cities. Oh, so you grew up in the South? Yeah, I grew, <laughs> I grew up in South. I was, I was really shocked to learn that, yeah, I mean, you're from actually from Texas. I mean, uh, the great state of Texas. Hey, I grew up in Irving, which is a suburb of Dallas. I know exactly where it is. So you're Beaumont, right? So I grew up in uh, Beaumont, spent many years in San Antonio, but all my relatives are from, uh, all my cousins and aunts and uncles live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So, so do you, Actually, you get to go back very often? Stuff. Do you get to go back? Uh, I'm going to go back in November. I haven't been back in like two years, so... Time flies when you're having a good time. So I, I'll go back to Beaumont. So both my brothers and my mom still live. My mom and brother live in Beaumont. My brother lives in Houston. So, wow. so all, do all your exes live in Texas? Uh, as a matter of fact, they do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so you're, the, the gal that you're married to right now, uh, where did you meet her? What state? Uh, Arizona. I actually moved here for her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Well, yeah, she's from Wisconsin. She's from the uh, western side of Wisconsin, uh, Eau Claire. You ever oh, heard of that? Place? It's huh? about, about two and a half hours away from here is all. Yeah. So when we fly up to Wisconsin, we fly into the cities and then we drive, we catch a shuttle over to Eau Claire. Wisconsin. Or is she a, like a Green Bay Packer cheesehead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wisconsin. Yeah, I got my hands Wisconsin. Yeah. No. So, so what does what does poor Mrs. Walmart clown do when you're spending all this time gaming? Oh, she has her own uh, jewelry business. All right. She sells. So she supports your ass. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> <I> has to. <laughs> so, so Flex, I, does, does your does your wife uh, 
you know, keep herself nice and busy while you're spending all your time gaming? Oh, yeah. She, she, she uh, has a laptop. <laughs> and a t- That's like, and she does a lot of stuff. Her. She has one side business, too. She sells, uh, it's called Sensi. It's like uh, warmers, and you put uh, wax in it, and it often yeah, gives off I have, I have one right over there. I yeah. got one, one right now. Yeah, she's into that pretty big, so she does a lot with that. Now, is she a native uh, Minnesotan? She's actually from Wisconsin. I met her when I went to school in Wisconsin, and we were friends for about a year, year and a half. And one when I came back the, s- the second year um, in the in the fall, we. Uh, Started hanging out a little more, and the next thing I knew, we were going out on dates, and the next thing I knew, I was hooked, and we decided within like eight weeks to get married. Wow. We've been married 20 years. Wow, wow that's, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Hey, she's the only one that could put up with my bullshit, man. <laughs> I mean, and, you know, like, I do these things to myself, like break my collarbone, and she, like, it stays so calm. She's just like, I when the, the night that I broke my collarbone, I you know I tripped and fell and broke it, and she comes out, and she looks at me, and of course I was turning white, and she goes, "You just broke your fucking shoulder, didn't you?" And I was like, "Yeah," and she goes, "Well, well, I guess we'll have to go back to the hospital," and she's yeah, just, yeah. I mean, the kidney stones, all this crap that happens to me, and she's just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh. we're just like, I don't know, we're just like. Tick and tack, we're perfect. Yeah, I think maybe you should send her to nursing school. I think that would have big dividends. Yeah, I think she has several hours into it. <laughs> we got enough on the job experience. I suppose it wouldn't be much of a stretch. Yeah. So, yeah, where did you meet Ann? Tell us the story. Okay, well, you know, I'm an optician. <clears throat> and, yes. uh, you know, uh, I used to work at a glasses shop really close to, the, to right here where, where we live. And, uh, you know, one day she came in looking at glasses, and uh, then she, you know, she got glasses, and I, I already had a girlfriend or something at that time, but she came in a couple of years later, and I asked her out because I got balls. Ha, 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 ha. In fact, you could probably show us a little mason jar that she keeps them in right now, don't you? Could, that's you? right. That's right. <laughs> And these are yams balls. <laughs> Yam nuts. Well, yeah. it, it's kind of frowned upon to, uh, you know, to hit on the patients. You know, uh, it's like if it doesn't go, if it doesn't go well, you can lose a patient. So, uh, yeah, I was taking a little bit of a gamble there, but uh, I saw the way she looked at me. She was giving oh, yeah. me those but eyes. You're, you're you're used to seeing, yeah, you know those looks. That's it. When you're looking, when you're looking through that thing at her eyes, and she's looking right back at you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, Wait, you, you took your glasses off. Yeah, I got tired of seeing a reflection. Yeah. Well, you look, you look uh, like a younger man without your glasses. These are. I am a young man. What do you mean? That's right. You're you're one of the couple of few people that's older than me. Yeah, no, I think there's yeah. The, the to, hierarchy uh, of our people that we game with is uh, is Billy, Junior, yeah. and are you number three? I think me and uh, Microsoft Man are tied. He we're both fifty six. Oh wow, I got bumped. I got bumped down a notch. Yeah, so Microsoft Man's fifty six, I believe. Okay, and, and then I'm fifty three, yeah. and I think Pico is right behind me. Or he might be a year ahead of me. I don't. I can't remember. But uh, but we're we're kind of at that pretty old end. Yeah. So you're not up to the senior disc age yet. No, but you know what? My wife actually is a couple of years older than me, and uh, she actually is. Uh, she gets the discount at Denny's now. The senior discount. Yeah. And yeah, no, that's right. I'm on my birthday, baby. Fifty five. I'm down there getting a discount. Senior citizens get all. Perks, the, the discount dinners, and pants up to here. <laughs> yep. They get it Man. all. Amen. 
Well, I do. I do have a ARP card, AARP. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I got one of those when I first turned fifty. Got to have. I, I, I'm all. It took fifty years to get here. It's a fifty-six years. I'm gonna use every perk I can. That's right. I like can game, right? It's a game, so you you use all the perks you win and fire warfare. I I earned all these, so I'm gonna use them. So when you go to Denny's, what uh, which one of the senior senior menu items do you pick? <laughs> 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 the uh, uh, scrambled egg deluxe. <laughs> it's a, oh, I can chew it's, a it's a little hearty for my taste. The scrambled eggs. Uh, I need something a little more digestible. Something I can gum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I take I like to take these out here. Flat butter. <laughs> Did you see their new hamburgers yet? You can get no, anything. No. You can get anything you want on their new hamburger. You can, I ordered a hamburger with an egg, macaroni and cheese, and shredded pork. Wow. Can you get a pancake on your hamburger? If you want. They'll put anything. I mean, they'll whiz on it if you want, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, do you need glasses, or can you see without them? Or those cheaters you wear? I, these are cheaters. These are uh, Costco. Drug stores, yeah. yeah. I can. I'm I, with me, but. I'm, I'm uh, what is it? Yeah, and what is it if you can't see far away? Uh, that's uh, nearsighted. I'm nearsighted. You're nearsighted. You are what you can see. So right? I can see. I can see you guys right now. I just. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so in the habit of wearing them, and I wear them all. You know, I mean. You know what, Flex? Yeah. Uh, I've heard it said before that you have a stoner's voice. Yeah, I do. And uh, when you take your glasses off, I look. You like look a more like a stoner. What do you think, Ken? Yeah. Yeah, I go that. <laughs> hey, dude, there let's was, party. Back in the day, there was a time, but not anymore because now I'm a dad and I'm growing up. And I grew out of it. But yeah, uh, I don't remember who it was. I think Lutheran Bishop asked me if I was a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you smoke? He goes, how much? No, he goes, he goes, how much pot do you smoke? <laughs> like, excuse me? And he's like, how much pot do you smoke? And I go, uh, none anymore. And it's like, well, you just kind of sound like a stoner. And I was like, yeah. well, I guess that's the way I sound. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. up, dude? Let's go smoke a doobie. Have you ever played with that guy, High Climber? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know this for a fact, but yes. I'd be pretty surprised if he is not. No, he just had it. No, he had, I don't think he had it right, but. Yeah. With, a, with a gamer was, tag, High Climber? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was uh, playing. Classic. I enjoy it. Uh, I was playing with him one day, and he goes, he goes, we're right in the middle of a match, and he goes, well, I got to go. I got to go out my garage. So I kind of <laughs> made it. <laughs> I don't know for a fact. So. The, the bong is calling. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> classic. classic. Cheech and Chong. So what do you think about the... Um, Bait and hook of uh, that game's use, that next level, next level, next gun, next gun, next level. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, right now, everybody is playing uh, that Borderlands 2, and it's very much like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's sort of like uh, uh, it dawned on me a while back, like all these little tags and emblems. You only get, you only get them for 12 months, and then it's, they're gone, you know? Well, I mean, technically <laughs> speaking, you still have them. If you were to go back to, to Black Ops, you know, you still have the, the challenges that you've accomplished. So how often do you get to show off your little emblems and everything? It's like, this is kind of getting kind of crazy. Because I used to, I actually used to research them, right? To figure out how to get them, and then I'd go try and get one. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I managed to beat Mario Kart on the Wii, and I was so proud of it that I... I took a snapshot, you know, they have like this, this screen, you know, this trophy kind of screen. I actually took my camera and took a picture of the TV screen. And it was like I was showing it, check it out, check it out, I beat Mario Kart. Mario was <laughs> <laughs> All the little 12 year olds were impressed. I, I was going to print it out and include it in my resume, you know, it's like, these are my accomplishments. James, were you late for work? As a matter of fact, I was late for work. There was a horrendous traffic this morning. Yeah, you, you, you can't leave like that. Leave no like nagging that. while we're doing bulletproof underwear. You have to go to bed earlier and leave earlier. Uh, leave 
Yeah. Tell them you're a grown man you can stay up as ladies you want. That's it. Is that book underwear if we don't have that yet? You know that, right? I know. I know. Well, how come we don't get to hear your wives bitching at you? Because <laughs> my wife's at work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't she works evenings? Uh, no, thanks to a middle of the day reboot of her laptop, she was downloading 32 million records, literally 32 million records, and it was three quarters of the way done, and her laptop rebooted, so she had to go back in tonight and finish the job. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fucking work. Yeah, Where's well, that at? I know you said she sells the uh, scented... Uh, she sells uh, Scentsy, uh, but she works for a pharmaceutical company that does... Uh, um, wholesale pharmaceutical sales, I guess, is what they, I guess is the best way to put it. But she, she is a um, systems analyst, systems developer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you were in IT too, right? Yeah, I was in IT for 20 years. I was a network admin. Um, yeah. I did help desk, uh, net admin, PC repair, all that stuff. Yep. You, you worked and, for uh, Big Blue, right? No, I never did work for IBM. I I worked for some large insurance company. I've worked for, I've worked for Cigna as an executive director over there. I was a I was actually the uh, director of operations for the state of Connecticut, believe it or not. For, for a while. Right. Wow. And I uh, now I I oversee two data centers for AAA. AAA. All right. I worked for my my best gig in my formative years was uh, working for USAA. We did a lot of, we co-developed some things with IBM. There's a thing called SCON Channel that we co-developed them. On the mainframe, there's a thing called SysFlex. We co-developed that with them. So we did a lot of um, co-development with them. So we so, were, so you brought the smart people their, uh, their lunches and stuff, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's coffee. That's coffee. Yeah. I, I can brew some coffee. Let me. I, I were you there? <laughs> I worked at IBM two separate occasions uh, for eight total years. I worked in a copy center the first time. It was, it was just a job to have a job. And then my second job, I worked uh, as a consultant doing. Uh, Laptop setup and uh, QA testing and uh, software builds for product. Have you noticed Real. a lot of Xboxers are, uh, are well, I don't maybe not just specific to Xbox, but a lot of gamers are in uh, the technology field, you know, computers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh. Everybody, well, you know, General Slide sits right next to me. I'm, I'm going to post a picture they did of his office. It's classic. It, today was his birthday. Man, it's classic. It's the best job I've ever seen. They took uh, glasses of water, colored water, and put them in styrofoam cups and literally filled his office with uh, it's It's really, uh, really cool. They filled his <laughs> office with styrofoam cups of colored water? Yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see it. I me just trying to explain it doesn't do it justice. So uh, I, I'm yeah, drawing so this cute. picture in my mind, and I just like what? The uh, our cubes are right next to one another. So, but I'll, I, just about all the all the people there um, are gamers. Most of them are uh, PC gamers. So I've never go. got them to come on. So uh, how about you? Are you have you uh, played very much with PC gaming? No, um, I, I tried. So I did the, the games like Myst, right? I love Myst. Raven, those kind of things. But shooter games I never was good at. Too much uh, hand movement that you have to do. Is that because of the, hand, the limitations of your actual fingers? No, it's just because I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> 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 no, I, I I was before I was into Call of Duty, I was into Left 4 Dead, and uh, I got Left 4 Dead on the on the on the Xbox. But then I thought, what? Well, let's try it on the PC. And I played it a little bit on the PC. I was I'm not really smooth aiming and oh. aiming with the mouse, but uh, you know I know that some people that's the, the the shit, you know. 
So the game that I had that I played on PC that was halfway good was Tiger Woods of all games, right? Because I could, I could at least shove the mouse straight. So do you, do you have I, the same Tiger Woods game? Especially when I put it on a ruler and did like that. So that really helped. <laughs> <laughs> do you have the same game that, uh, that, that you have, Flex? The same Tiger Woods game? Yeah, we got the same game. James, we got to get together. Tell them not to Hey, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Or videos. <laughs> <laughs> I think the medication has finally kicked in. Can't go parents is just get better and better. So Flex, uh, why don't you move the move the mic a little closer to your mouthy poo? There you go. Like that. There you go. Good. Is that... So you have anything in the, else in the hopper? Uh, past but, bulletproof underwear? Anything similar to bulletproof underwear? Anything like that? I don't know, Flex. So we got anything? Anything Not beyond really. bulletproof underwear? Not really. I I. I uh... Well, you know what? I think it'd be fun to have more, like, you know, Skype will let you have a bunch of people on a call. Yes. I thought it'd be cool if we could get some of the mod uh, moderators of uh, Sub1 together and chat. Yeah, yeah. I think just having more people would be fun. Yeah, We need to do it, like, on a Saturday morning so we could have Willy Boy or Billy Boy be young. I think he'd be great. As long as we could get somebody to translate his Yorkshire. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he he's he. Uh, I I I Skype talked with him a couple of times. Boy, is he uh, is he old? No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's a character, man. I love Billy, him. he's just kidding. He's just Billy. He's just kidding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll send you some cake later. I'm I'm not. Hey, <laughs> I'm supposed. Uh, what? Oh, no. It's October second a Tuesday. It's October second a Tuesday. She's asking me. So I I did that post on uh, the royal family not keeping her clothes on, and I I, I didn't realize yeah. that uh, they love their royal family so much. Oh yeah, they'll they'll I, jump to their defense, man. You started attacking. Yeah, them. I asked the mate, I asked the guy that I work with who's from a, the London area. <laughs> I said, it didn't that went over well, and he goes, Oh, a lot of people love the royal family. So, Ooh. Did not know. Yeah. I didn't either. I didn't either until I saw some of the responses. It's like, boy, they really like the royal family over there. Yeah, okay. I, I, it's like you're yeah. attacking mom and apple pie over here, you know? I guess so. It's like, okay, cool. Shit. So did you have to see Kate's hooties? I never get, did get to see the picture. You did? No, I never saw the picture. There's pictures. Oh. There's numerous of them. Pictures. Oh. Oh. Well, is she is she good looking? Is she built? No, uh, <laughs> they're, not, they're not huge. But just like every other male in the whole wide world, once you've seen one set, you want to see the rest. Once you've seen one set, it just makes you, you ready to see, to see the next. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you want to see the rest? Exactly. <laughs> Will I post my Renaissance pictures up on the forum? I got some really good pictures, boy. Ooh wee! You know, because they all wore the corsets and. You know, I think those kind of chicks, uh, they go to those Renaissance festivals just to, to strut around in those get-ups, you know, to show it off. Oh, they do. And I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bet you did. I got slapped a few times, but not by, like, Renaissance chicks, by my wife. So I've actually never been to a Renaissance fair where... I mean, I have the impression from what I've seen that this like kind of a nerd fest. Is that uh, is that true, or were they not that nerdy? A nerd? What do you mean by nerd? I think of computer geeks. No, they're not really nerdy. They're just kind of weird. Okay, were were they were they talking in character all the time? Yep. Yep, they talk in character. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think I'd have a hard time keeping that up for very long, you know? Well, I don't know. What about you? Well, let me tell you, a couple glasses of mead, and you wouldn't have any problem keeping it up. <laughs> Give me there was one guy who's just wasted, man. 
he comes up to me, he saw my hand. So he he's played like, with it, then it, then it becomes a problem to give it a hand. He puts his arm around me and goes, that's a nice hat. I go, well, thanks. And then he went stumbling along. He was drinking mead. So what is mead? I actually have no idea. I know it's some kind of a fermented alcoholic beverage, but I don't know how they make it. Do you know, Ken? I, nope. Nope. I just know it, I just know that it gets you really really drunk if you drink enough. You know of what? It. I wonder if we if when this goes on YouTube, if any of our uh, viewers know this, and we'll put it in the comment section. What the fuck is mead? Yeah, what is mead? Somebody tell us what mead is. Because <laughs> I don't I know. Wait for the response. Sorry. <laughs> no answer. Well, I know I know I, beer is kind of. I didn't hear anybody. Say. It's kind of like if you made bread without the bread, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you could actually uh, open up a uh, Google thing there with the... Now, so how, how long do you uh, hope to be able to game for? Is Billy sort of the mark? You think at, what's he, 60 what? Well, 60-something. 60 He's 67, 68. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's cool. They still get, you know, he's still after it. I'm gaming until the, they pry the controller out of my cold, dead, stiff fingers. You know, sometimes when I'm playing for a long time, <clears throat> like the uh, like a long time straight, like those Borderlands yeah. sessions, sometimes. Well, those things, uh, my eyes, dude. Sometimes it starts to hurt my left wrist, the inside of my left yeah. wrist. That's because you exercise your right wrist probably more than your left. I'm just guessing. <laughs> That's probably true. Anyway, yeah. but seriously. So it's just your left one catching up. If you would try occasionally with your left, you would probably. Polishing, probably polishing the sword. You, you trade yeah, off. probably have your right one really built up. Yeah, you got to trade off. Man, that Borderlands, that is a cool-ass game. That kills my eyes, though, man. You know what, dude? I was talking to the guy at GameStop today, as a matter of fact, and he told me that he knows some people that have made it almost to the end, and the final boss is almost un unkillable, undestructible. Uh, several people can't get past it. They can't finish the game. Well, I, he knows I guess by the time we get there, it'll be people on YouTube posting hints on how to do it. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I, I go. I go right to YouTube, walk through, uh, you know, look exactly how. To, so, what's the first game you beat? Game. Uh, first game I beat was uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Flex. Sil what about you? Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Yep. Mine was uh, Zelda. Really? Yeah. yeah. So how did you feel when you beat Zelda? So for me personally, um, my kids were, my, I had twin boys. I have twin boys. Uh, they were eight years old, and they thought I was the king. I think that's the highest on the, uh, on the scale I've ever been. So you were a, <laughs> I think you were a cool been guy. Downhill since then, but yeah, they thought that. So for their excitement, was was way more than mine. They were dancing around the room because we that's before the internet, right? So yep. we didn't. I couldn't get on and figure out how to beat him. So well, it wasn't before the internet, but we didn't have internet connectivity. But anyway, um, so you just yeah, so you just so kept playing that, until you know until you finally got through it. Yeah, and every evening we you know me and the two boys would go in there and we'd play it and yeah. So we uh, when I finally killed Gannon. Oh, that was the that was the uh, yeah, Nirvana right there for all three of us. It didn't get any better than that. Yeah, that's cool. There's a uh, there's a game on the Wii where you're like a where the katana and you're running around. It's called No More Heroes. <clears throat> pretty fun game. Pretty gory. And uh, this is before Call of Duty. <clears throat> and I actually beat that game, and I was really, I mean, really super tense because. My my character, you know, it's like you could see your your health points, and it's like my health points were getting knocked down, and I just kept fighting this boss, and uh, I was down to one health point, one point. Any anything would have killed me, and I had to, had to start it all over again. And I've been engaged in this battle with this boss for like it seems like 15 minutes, so I'm like running around 
try to get, you know, keep away from the attack. Just hoping, that, like, somehow I can just keep dishing out damage and, until finally I, I, I brought the boss down. And I had one point of health left. I was, like, screaming, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> now I, so now you... I know how the boys felt at Normandy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how often do you uh, get on and play golf, Flex? What's that? How often do you play Tiger Woods? After I play Tiger Woods. How often? Often do you oh, play? Often. I'm sorry, it must be the accent. I actually play. Hey, the, hey, I actually, how often do you play Tiger Woods? <laughs> I actually played a little bit today because uh, I was playing. Uh, I've got NHL right now, and I got really frustrated with it, and I threw the controller on the floor, which I usually don't do. And I thought, you know, I'll play a little Tiger and just mellow out. So I played some today. Yeah, I, I play a couple three games times a week. So, so how does that work? A golf game? Okay, you know the the leveling up and and unlocking and stuff. I mean, is that part of the game? So the more you play, the more power you get, or the more accuracy you get, and things like that. So you you level up that way. You get XP and you use your XP yeah. points to improve your golfer. Yeah. And so you have a character that you create. You can dress him and all that good stuff, or her, and. Uh, as you level up, like I always buy my first XP, I always buy power because I want to hit it far, just like in real life. <laughs> so, so uh, do you do you buy different golf clubs and stuff like that? Yep. Yeah, you get sponsored. You, you get sponsorships yep, yep. as you go further along in the game. You get like better sponsors and better equipment. And do you get a caddy. So, do you start off carrying your own bag and then you get so, a caddy? No, uh, caddy's always with you. Yep, you got the caddy. <coughs> I think you should have to earn your caddy, just like a regular golfer. You know, you just like you have to lug your clubs. Maybe, maybe push it around in one of those silly little carts. I'm watching uh, Dancing with the Stars on the TV, and uh, Pam Anderson's on there. Who's going to win Dancing with the Stars? I couldn't tell you. I'm picking Pammy Ann, but that's because yeah, I yeah. like Pammy Ann. So so, oh, yeah. how does yeah. how does she keep her balance? You'd think she'd fall forward. You would think. Apparently, pretty good here. Yeah. So anyway, I want to know how she keeps them in. But uh... <laughs> let's see what is Anne looking at on TV right you now. You know, I've got pictures of her. I've got pictures of her before she had all that work done, and she was so beautiful then. And she had all that work done, and it's like she doesn't. You know, she doesn't look like the same person. No, she doesn't. I, I liked her better before. She was beautiful. I liked her better in uh, in her video. Oh yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, they, they were on like, they were on a boat, right? Like a like some sort of a boat, and they were in in a car too. Cars. <laughs> oh, you mean the one where Tommy was driving the boat with his Johnson? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Tommy's a naughty boy. Car, stop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. when you got a, a dick the size of a baseball bat, I suppose. It's across the bear, but I, I do well with it. What, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Here's how we get coffee in my house. Coffee! Soon there will be someone running here that's short wearing it orange t-shirt that will get me coffee well see now that is good if i if i did the same thing would i get somebody in orange t-shirt running over to get me coffee no probably not I wouldn't, I wouldn't even get a response coffee i'm not getting a response she must she's got a little in her bedroom she's got a little uh closet where she's got a chair and she does her homework there and she listens to music and stuff and she's getting she's 11 going on 12 so she's getting to that point her age where you know mom and dad aren't as cool and it's more fun to kind of stay away from mom we know girls it's like when they're 11 that's kind of like the last year where they're little girls and like when they're 12 they start to become you know women you know young ladies you know young ladies. i always figured you should raise boy uh, girls to the age of 12 and then trade them in for boys 
So I, I raised both girls and boys. So. Well, so well, the so uh, what's the verdict? I girls until the age of twelve, then trade them in for boys. <laughs> Definitely. I, I feel sorry for my daughter because uh, all through her high school years, it was uh, it was just me and her. So she was stuck with me. And I remember one day she told me, uh, "Dad, you're scaring all the boys off." And I said, "Baby, that's working. It's designed." <laughs> that's, that's a that's a plan from the outset. Yeah. So did did yeah. you guys have any brothers or sisters? I had brothers. I got a sister. How older sister she's, or younger? She's a year younger than me. Uh, she's in IT too. She does. Uh, um, she's a developer. Were, were you guys sister. close when you were growing up, or are you closer now? We're closer now. We fought like cats and dogs and hated each other when we grew up. We were terrible. We broke. I, think, I mean, I like we broke the. Fight, don't they? I mean, we broke most. Mo, we broke windows and. Yeah. It's like yeah. she'd lock me out of the house and I'd punch out the window on the door to get in and that's how I got these this scar right here. Every time you look at it, you think, sis. <laughs> Yeah, every time I see it, I think of her. So, so Ken, you you got brother or brothers? I have, I have two brothers. I'm the youngest. Oh, you're the baby. Huh? You're the baby of the family. Yeah, it had its advantages. Let me tell you, I wear that badge proudly. So I had a I had a, a sister who is eight years older and a brother who is two years younger. So she was old enough, so she was kind of like the, almost like a second mom, you know. She was like the authority figure. The middle kid? I was the middle kid, and, uh, yeah, and, and me and my brother fought, you know, we, we fought, and we're, we're as close as can be now, but, uh, you know. My sister was a hippie. My sister went on to become a hippie. And what are you? You look like a hippie. Oh, just because, uh, just because, just because of the long hair. So you had that? How long you had that? The whole your? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really cut it for twenty years. <clears throat> your, your whole adult yeah. life? Yeah, I wouldn't say my whole adult life. I mean, you know that Patrick Swayze hair that uh, you're joshing about. <laughs> That's classic. I thought it was Justin Bieber, but uh, <laughs> I think Corey Will put you with the. Uh, uh, I think it was Will that put you, and then it's like, yeah, I had to go with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I used to wear something, something kind of like that. Sure, I had uh, it poofed up. That, that, that picture of the, the the boats that was really good. Yeah. So how did your mom do on that uh, at that show? Well, you know what, we went to that art show with her, and uh, she. You know, we, she showed off a bunch of paintings, uh, and, and most of the artists who were there, including her, didn't sell anything. It wasn't that busy. It was mm. fun. You know, she got to to, sh to show off her paintings. They were all displayed in her little booth. It was fun. Yeah. But what's funny is she had painted this big picture. You know, it must have been like a picture this big, and it was like a, a scene with a bunch of buffaloes in it. Yeah, a bunch of buffaloes, and uh, that was her her primary one she was showing off. And she would grab people that were walking by and say, "Have you seen my buffaloes?" <laughs> 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 well, she's like an old lady, so you're not going to be rude, you know. So, oh, oh. <laughs> so people were like, "Oh, okay, let's check out the buffaloes." Yeah. Well, hey, dudes, I'll be right back. I got to go out in the garage. <laughs> 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a picture to show you of the buffaloes. Uh, she she was uh, able able to tell us that. Yeah, there's 31 buffaloes in that picture. Really? One. So how, how old is your mom? She's she's born in 1926. Yep. Very close so to my mom. 86. Yeah. Yeah. 86. And she's still. That's fantastic, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, my dad was born in 1918. He's been gone a long time. No, my dad was uh, 21. 1921? 
Yeah, yeah our, our younger viewers who are listening to this, that, that seems <laughs> shocking. Yeah, my dad was born in 1918, you know, 1921. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> and that's why I don't buy a bottle of water today. My dad was born in 1981, you know. <laughs> yeah. How long, did, uh, how long did your dad live? Uh, he... Living? He died at age 54. I'm 53. He probably smoked like you. Yeah, he smoked, but he drank. You know, he drank a lot. He had a big ass yeah. beer gut. Yeah. So you beat that's, you beat alcohol. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quit drinking in 2005. And Flex, I, I think. Uh, I, quit drinking. Huh? I quit drinking in 2002. I think that's good, man. Yeah, and, for me it was because I'm an alcoholic. Yep, good for you guys. So, what are you what so are you, you going to give up? You do that. Do you think it's required to hit bottom, or do you just uh, one day I wake did, up? I did, I did hit bottom, but uh, that didn't stop me from drinking. I went to treatment, that didn't stop me from drinking. Well, yeah, I yeah. just, I, I, I literally woke up one day after uh, a night where I got so drunk and went downstairs and beat up the chimney. That and I woke up the next day and I looked at my wife. I woke my wife up and I said, I think I did something really stupid last night. She goes, yes, you did. And that was it for me. And that's when I quit. So did yeah. you break your hand? In two places and they had to dig out five chunks of rock. Yeah, I bet the chimney yeah. was yeah. never uh, out of line again, though. Yeah, that chimney never lipped off again. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's well, funny, you know, though. Because, like, because, like, 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 my grandpa, my dad's dad, he smoked and drank all of his life and lived to be 89 years old. And he was yeah, so. totally cognizant. I mean, he was never like what you'd say senile or had Alzheimer's or anything. Just weird, you know? Like yeah, how some yeah. people can do that, go that long, and other people, it's like they die in their 20s. From, from doing that. Yeah. No right. Look at Keith Richards. What about you, yeah. Jim? Did that hit the bottom? Uh, I, I I wouldn't say it was at the bottom. I mean, I, I got pulled over drunk as a skunk. And that was the first time that ever had happened. I never realized skunks drink, but everybody says that. Everybody says ahead. that. Three seats to the wind, whatever. I mean, it's like yeah. I couldn't believe I was actually driving. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, if if you ever have that happen to you, that's that's bad news. You know, you don't want to get pulled over when you're shit face drunk. No. You don't want to get pulled over when you're shit face drunk tripping on acid either. That'll get you a D dub and some other stuff. Check, check. Fortunately, I was so oh. drunk that it, it didn't actually. I wasn't that nervous about it. I was just like really relaxed. <laughs> I was very calm. You know, it's like. Yes. Yeah. I remember thinking, when I sober up, this is really going to suck, you know. That's a, yeah. It's going to cost me a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sucks waking up with that. You know, when you look in, reach in your pocket, and there's a ripped up ticket in there, and you put it back together, and it says D-U-I-L on it, you know. Yeah. Yep. yep. Bad stuff. Not yeah. fun. So, so Ken, are you, did, did you give up anything? Are you going to give up anything? Uh... <laughs> so, fortunately, I don't know that I have an addictive personality so um, things that I've done that I thought was an excess I I decided on my own that I was tired of not being in control but with alcohol I, I would puke that like crazy so that was never an issue with me I, I don't think there's alcohol made that I haven't barfed but uh, with other substances uh, yeah I just got tired of being out of control nothing you know nothing to, made me or nothing it wasn't I didn't I just especially when my kids 30 years ago when my boys were born it was like fuck this you became a yeah. you became a grown up yeah but now you're a kid again you're playing video games all the time yeah so um I when I was learning to play my guitar left-handed I'd sit there and play video games and then strum chord or right-handed uh or left-handed, whatever it is, and I was teaching myself how to play with uh, my good hand. 
uh, I told my wife, I said, this is, I'm like 12 years old again. I'm learning to play the guitar again, and I'm playing video, even though we didn't have video when we were 12. Yeah, but see, the good thing is now you can afford all the shit that you want that you couldn't back in those days. Yeah, that's why I play golf and ride motorcycles now. <laughs> yeah, it's great to be able to, to, to buy whatever the fuck you feel like buying. You know, it's like yeah. our, our younger viewers, you know, it's like your time will come. Yeah. Your time will come to go to GameStop and buy whatever game you want. Come yeah, I, was, I was thinking about that the other night. My my Xbox broke. I said, screw it. I went down to GameStop because they had the re refurbished one. Bought that. Needed a 250 drive. Went back, bought that. I mean, so I couldn't have done that when I was 20 if, I, if my life had ended. Yeah, I mean, in those days, you had to save up a long time or you had to, you know, finagle or get somebody to, uh, you know, help you out or... Not eat. Yeah, not eat. <laughs> so now I uh, actually get a pension for one of the companies I worked for. So that's, uh, I mean, I've been, been enjoying that. That's nice. Yeah. When I was young, I, uh, I bought an electric guitar and an amplifier, and I got this crummy little practice amp. It's like, you know, if I, if I wanted to go out and buy an amplifier, I could get whatever the hell I want now. It's like, I'm a big kid, and I can spend money. <laughs> I was telling one of the kid, one of my kids, you know, my first big purchase was a stereo system. It was eleven hundred dollar Pioneer. Oh yeah, that was oh, mine yeah. too. That was my first purchase was a stereo system. Yeah, me, me and my wife at the time, we that was our purchase. We went, we got our income tax back and went right out and bought big ass speakers and. Yeah. Yep. So did we. And party all night long. You know what? I always wanted one of those Marantz things you know they have the, yes. the tuning wheel goes sideways they had blue they had the blue and on they it. had that cool yeah. ass lights you know they look oh, so great man. when i was a kid i really always wanted like a high schooler it, i always wanted a lights off the blue Marantz lights oh my god and it had all that gleaming chrome that polished that that, that brush chrome stuff oh yeah especially if there was a smoky haze in the room oh, oh yeah man. so you know what uh, a few years back i i saw one on ebay you know, it was in perfect condition, a uh, model 2270, uh, which I had lusted, you know, drooled over yeah. when I was younger. I could never afford and I, and I bought it. Used it for a long time. Then I realized, you know what? The modern, it sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the modern shit that they got now is way better. <laughs> <laughs> and, something about, and something about this big, right? <laughs> That's right. And plus, it didn't have any kind of remote control or anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. I remember uh, the, the ultimate of all ultimates was to buy a Macintosh sound system. Oh yeah, Macintosh. Yeah, they were they were the bomb. Yeah, my brother actually still has one. I remember my brother uh, the bringing home a Quadraphonic for those that uh, are old enough to remember. Quadraphonic. Quadraphonic eight track. Huh. Quadraphonic. Yeah, I had an 8-track. I had an 8-track in my car I saved up for, and I had a, a shitty little 8-track stereo. Who didn't? That's our age, right? That's right. I had one. Yep. So, you know what? It was, it was sort of cool, because if you plugged in that tape and you just left it playing, it would just fucking play endlessly, forever. forever, just over and over and over again. It would just never stop. It's not like a record or a cassette or a CD that, that hits the yeah. end. Yeah. A friend of mine had one that had a fast forward, but it didn't disengage the sound. It went, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we get all fucked up and sing with the fast forward thing. you know. <laughs> but you know, the tape's always fucked up. Oh, After yeah. If you had the tape for a while, it would fuck up and it would like, you know, the, the machine would eat it and you'd have to pull the tape out of your tape player. The format that I hated the worst was the freaking cassettes. Jeez. Oh, especially when they started making those, they started making the cassettes thinner so they could get more music on them, then they'd, they'd eat them quicker. I hated, I hated them. I did too. Yeah, but I did have a it's, Walkman that I liked, you know, that played tapes. Did you ever Walkman? Yeah, so I, I, I liked the compactness of it, but I hated the format of the <coughs> tape. Because if you wanted a song, at least with 8-track, you know, where there's like three or four songs per track. Yeah. You, I mean, you could get in the ballpark. But if you wanted a song at the end of the tape, 
of a cassette, you had to rewind that stupid ass thing for a long time. Yeah, fast forward it, you know, like, and you got the timing down. Like, like you you listen to one song that you like, and then after a while, you got the one thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, and be right on the song you wanted to hear next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to have a I used to have a cool car stereo, but that was back around two thousand five, and then the car I, I bought. Help. What? When you're done, I need your help. You need my help. Doing what? <laughs> you make an appointment for uh, an interview. Okay, well, yeah, when I'm done. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yes, Flex. Did you, have, did you ever sponsor, like, a big keg party when you were younger? No, I can't say did that you? I have. I went to them, but... You never helped. You never helped. just went to them, huh? Yeah. How about you? Did you throw a big car party? <laughs> Man. Man, big oh, yeah. I guess who's on the phone? It's Bajul. Oh, must want to play Borderlands. Hey, Jewel, uh, what's going on? We used to. Uh, what you up to? Uh, just on <laughs> bulletproof underwear with uh, Walmart clown and flex. Say hi to him. Hi to him. Hi to him. <laughs> they're answering. Hello, hello. They're, they're answering you back. <laughs> So let me let me call you back later, okay? I'm sorry. Let me let me call you back later. Actually, are you close to uh, are you close to your okay, PC? Okay, you call back then. I kind of heard what you said. Okay, later. All right, we'll see ya. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, if she's close to a PC, we just bring her. We used to. Yeah. We used to have. I, I used to throw parties and stuff. We'd have we'd have ten, twenty kegs, five hundred people. Wow. Uh, Who fronted the money for all the kegs? Uh, I had a friend that owned a liquor store, so he'd let me have the first few free. And then I'd go to the party, sell glasses, and then come back and pay him. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so you're an operator, man. Yeah, we, I, we did that until somebody got in an accident uh, after leaving one of the parties. And uh, I got charged. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I forgot. I never got convicted, but I got charged. Wow. And that was all. A lot of those parties were when I was a minor. So. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I was a bad boy. See, that's why your wife dug you, man. Chicks always dig the bad boy. I know. That's why Pico's going to be scoring all the chicks. <laughs> He's a bad boy. Pico's a, Pico's a, he's a hardcore, he's an original gangsta. He's an OG. You know, chicks dig the, the bad boy. Yeah! Oh, there he is again. That's what I love about Yam Juice. He's a bad mofo. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sick mofo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've never seen a chicken with uh, uh, wool. I'm a fluffy chick. Fur. What? Fur is murder. Did you buy that at the yard sale? You know, I don't even. I don't remember where I got this little uh, this little chick. Where did you meet Yam? I was hanging around the H and M Club, and <laughs> sick maniacs. <laughs> and Yam just walked in with nothing but assless chaps. <laughs> Of course it caught my eye. <laughs> Assless chaps. Everybody should own a pair of those. Hey, I live in San Francisco. I have seen more than a few pairs of those, like walking around. Oh, yeah. oh, but so when did you when did you make the trek to uh, San Francisco, yeah? Well, the the, the reason for that is because my sister, I told you, was a hippie, right? So. It, yeah. it never would have been here if except cheaper drugs in uh, Cal in uh... well she she moved out here back in the hippie days you know actually the early 70s yeah. which is eh, maybe just a little past the hippie days but you know San Francisco and Berkeley was kind of a, a mecca for for hippies in those days uh, yes. still is Absolutely. best grass and that's it didn't it still is I mean that's where they you know she was in a commune and all kinds of shit like that. Anyway, 
it's like I had just broken up with a gal in Texas and I felt like you know this is 1984 late 84 yeah. and I felt like there wasn't anything left for me in Texas that's how I felt I was really broken up about it big enough for me, was it it wasn't big enough for me so <laughs> I moved to uh, moved to California and uh, and at first I sort of was a little homesick but I it grew on me I, I like California yeah uh, I never have, uh, cause I haven't lived there as long as you. I never have cared that much for the San Francisco area, but I like it a little bit warmer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a little cool most of the time, right? Right. So. And foggy so, and shit like that. But see, I, I like I like Phoenix actually. You know, most senior citizens do. That's a dollar bill. I like the seasons. I like it. I like it when we get fall, winter. You know, I mean, I, I dig it. That's what everybody That's a, says that live up in that shit, I noticed. Boy, well, you got to say something like that. Yeah, I, know. Because I live in really Connecticut. It's, oh, sucks. no, we love seasons. Yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, it rain, sucks. Minnesota snow, has two seasons. Brown, snow. Well, we have a place we in have, California comparable to uh, Arizona. We have Palm Springs. Yeah, I've been there, actually, uh, recently. Palm Springs is uh, sunny and nice even in the wintertime. Uh, you you people from Arizona would probably feel right at home. Yeah, well, that's just a border thing, right? They just happen to put the border where they did. Otherwise, it'd be in Arizona. <laughs> we have winter and road construction season here. Yeah. Winter uh, and road construction. So, so I guess you have uh, salt uh, corrosion on your cars and stuff. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, you yeah. gotta like what you gotta make sure in the winter you wash your car. Anytime it's above like thirty two, when you can get to the car wash, go in and get it washed off. Get all that salt and crap washed off because they still use a lot of salt. They've got non corrosive chemicals that they use too now, but mostly they still use salt and sand. And salt and just, sand. Yep, and it chews up your car like nobody. So does. I, I just enjoy winter in Connecticut. I, I have to be honest. Uh, of all the seasons, I mean. Uh, I enjoyed fall, but uh, I, I got into the winter thing just because I knew it'd be temporary and I wouldn't live up there for that long. So I had the biggest snow blower I could buy at Sears. My goal was to blow it into my neighbor's yard. Yep, that's what you got to do. Yeah, so I I actually enjoyed it. I have to be honest, I enjoyed it. I, I look forward every year to the snow. So what what else besides snow did you like about living there? Connecticut. Yeah. The summers. I hate the summers even in uh, up in his area too. They're just so damn humid and hot, and the infrastructure uh, is not set up for hot and humidity. It's set up for cold and snow. So, yep. Well, you you come you come south. Every house down here has central air, and even where I grew up on the Gulf of Mexico, everything has air. Everything's set up for heat and humidity. Right. Well, we're set up for humidity in Phoenix because we don't have it. But when I lived in Beaumont, the Houston area, we were set. That's that's what you're set up for. When I moved to Connecticut, the houses and everything were set up for cold weather. So when cold weather hit, you were you were fat, dumb, and happy. But when it was summer and it was hot, oh my God! You had little windows units on my in the house I had. We had little window units. It was miserable. I hated it. You opened a bowl of cereal. You by the time you poured it, it was freaking soggy. Yeah, you know, it's about that bad. Yeah. Oh my God! Say it ain't so. Your Cheetos and your and your Doritos were they soggy too? Yeah, that's right. Oh Don't man. I, that's when you when you got more into the cooler months. It very nice, very very nice, very nice. Because baseboard See, heating and all that crap. I live I within heater to blow up. <laughs> I live within. Uh, like five miles of the international airport so they put air conditioner in our house for they, they have the metropolitan airport commission and in order to do sound mitigation we got new windows in our house new doors and an air conditioner central air so, yeah central air nice it makes all yeah. the difference doesn't it wow oh yeah it definitely oh. does that the humidity so if you open your window is it noisy as fuck out there Oh, God. I, if I had the door open right now, all we'd hear is planes flying by. It'd sound like, it'd sound like freaking the bombers on uh, Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> yeah. 
they go right over our house, but we can't hear them because we're it's well insulated. We got like special windows and stuff. So yeah, yeah. It's, so it's so cool. on Modern Warfare Three, do you love the the stealth bomber or do you hate the stealth bomber? Me, that's one of the few. That's one of the few hard, big bang kill streaks I get. So I love the stealth bomber. Cause I can't, I can't do assault class. I suck, man. I, yeah, I, I have to ditch the board. I can't yeah. get a kill streak. Yeah, I usually, I yeah. usually run assaults. Although the specialist is, <clears throat> is kind of cool, you know. Yeah, I've done that a few times. I usually what do. So turned you, what turns you off to Modern Warfare Three? The spawns are fucked up. Is the game would be the okay spawns. if it wasn't for the fucked up spawns? It's like you kill a guy and he spawns behind you. Spawns, yeah. noob tubes. Yeah. So. The new tubes are are there in uh, Black Ops too in hardcore, right? So, yeah, I know. Well, I never play hardcore, so that doesn't. It don't seem like it don't seem like they're so out of control over there, though. It's like Modern yeah, Warfare yeah. Three. It's like totally out of control. I remember when I was first learning how to play. That was my primary weapon. I usually lived long enough to shoot off two of them, then I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was first playing Black Ops, that was my first Call of Duty, and uh, you know how on. The, on the combat record, it shows what your KD is with each weapon, including the uh, the, the noob tube, and and that was one of my highest KD weapons for sure. Was the noob was tube? Was the noob tube? Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny. And that that and uh, I used to do the RPG. There was a map that was real small, and uh, it was a building, and you ran in the interior of the building mainly, and I'd shoot my RPG through the. Uh, Doorway, and by then, I get my two RPGs off, and then somebody kill me. So I didn't last long. I bet you're talking yeah. about Summit. No, in uh, Modern Warfare Two. Oh, Modern Warfare Two. Oh, oh, oh. That, that's the first. That's the first one that I started <coughs> playing. Now that game yeah. was really noob tube happy, and explosions were just out of control. So, so what about uh, Battlefield Three, Flex? You play that a lot, right? Or no? I play it. I I play it. I don't play it a lot, but uh, it's so hard to see uh, the other people, and it seems like all you do is you're you're running. You're always you're always running somewhere. Running, 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 running. But uh, I like it. I mean, it's uh, it's 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 different than than call the Call of Duty. It's a lot more wide open. The maps are a lot bigger. And uh, the guns are more realistic in their recoil and how they handle and stuff. So it's fun, but it's different. And I was into it real heavy for a while there, but now since Borderlands came out, I've been borderlanding. And and I, I like it. I mean, I don't hate MW3. I just, I'm getting kind of disgusted with all the tubing and the crap that's going on there, but... That's, that's why I went over to uh, Bare Bones. Was it's, it, Even though it's core, that doesn't buy. I could, like I say, I could care less between core and hardcore. But, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like it, because it's core that all that effect is reduced a lot. So, And then I don't yeah. have to worry about the kills. Well, the good thing so. about hardcore or uh, Bare Bones is since there's no, there's no kill streaks, there's no people trying to camp. I mean, not that there's no campers, yeah. but there's nothing to camp for. I right. mean, you're not trying to uh, build up a, a kill streak. You're just like, right. if you camp and you end up going like five and zero, oh, whoop de do. You know, how much fun is that? <laughs> Apparently, a lot because a lot of them do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I, I'm a purpose gamer. I camp. I run and gun. I hide. I I do it all. I'm kill you know, scared. I've always said I'm a kill whore and camper. I just suck at it really bad. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, I, I'm really, you know, uh, excited about Black Ops too. I mean, I'm sure that uh, we'll probably most of us will 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 get our nut off on Borderlands, you know, before that game comes out. So uh, we'll be primed and ready. We'll be ready. I'm afraid I'll still be stroking it during Borderlands. I don't know if I can get my nut off on that. I do enjoy it. I'll probably finish Borderlands 2 about the time Borderlands 3 comes out in four or five years. You know what? This game is so fun. I figure 
whenever the time comes that I kind of get tired of it or beat it or whatever, I might go off, go ahead and try Borderlands the original. It's just as fun. I was I saying I've on the season pass, but uh, you were saying Borderlands is just as fun, Flex? Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing just Borderlands. I mean, you know what the funny thing is? Borderlands, the original, was a lot easier to play as a single player. It wasn't I, I, as, wasn't as hard hard ass as Borderlands yeah, yeah. 2. I mean, you can't. I've tried playing single player, and that's just. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So Get the I, crap I love those guys can, but I we all know I can't aim. So 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 I know the first character I played with you, Ken, was uh, was the uh, commando character. Uh, have you started a new character since then? So I did. Me and uh, me and Bejeweled got on uh, the other night, uh, Friday night, I think it was. And uh, maybe it was Saturday night, Bejeweled and I, because she was just uh, doing a new character. And funny, because I get into her game, and she's, and I see her go to one. And so if she's trying a new character, I'll jump on with her, and I'll try a new character. We both picked the same character. We are both running around. <laughs> so you must be a gunzerker then. Yeah, the big guy. What's yeah, his name? Yeah, the big guy. He's a gunzerker. So I actually like my commando guy. I, I'll stick with him. Well, you, so I, went, you know, I think if you're going to play it by yourself, the commando is the way to go because that turret helps a fucking lot. Turret. Amen. You can do a lot with that turret too, man. They, like, you can get to the point where you level up, you get two turrets. Really? And, really? and then the, and then each turret can have two guns on it. So. Wow. Oh. That's the guy at GameStop was telling me he he did that. So. Wow. Wow. Oh. Once you get to that point, maybe you would be able to play it, you know, alone. But, I, but I, it's a lot of men together. If I didn't jump in with, uh, uh, with people like you guys, I wouldn't know where to go, when to be, blah, blah, blah. It's like I just follow people Yeah, I'm around. the same way. I'm the same way. Uh, I, I'm not experienced in that kind of a game. Yeah. So I have to follow somebody. Otherwise, <laughs> I wouldn't know where to go. It'd be like, where do I go I like next? driving the cars. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I like sh I like running over those fucking uh what are they called? Those monsters? Oh, bully uh, monks. Bully monks. Oh, I think I was in a car with you the other night and uh being a gunner is no fun being in there with you because you're always moving. It's like move, move. Sorry. Sorry. I guess uh, next time next time I play I'll try to not do that. But it's just so fun to mow them down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> but that gun is awesome because it's just like it never runs out. Um, have you been in the one that throws the barrels yet? Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty fucking fun too. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you get the the big off road thing. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Black Ops two too because I think uh, I think a lot of our brethren from the battlefield side of uh, play some more too. I think that's going to draw a lot of people together. I think. Oh yeah, it'll bring everybody back together. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Because you know, but we've been doing Battlefield now for three months. I think I kind of started it when I back when the server when they first offered the the you know you could get your own server, and I got a server and then I put a note out on the forum and then I think Willie was the first one that started and. Then, Steve, and then we just kind of barrel, just kind of rolled, rolled from there. And, and but I think you I'm, know, by the time Black Ops Two comes around, everybody's going to be a little bored with Battlefield Three. So yeah, so I'd say I, at least half of the people I played Call of Duty with are now hardcore Battlefield guys. Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe but more than half. On a gun or the strategy, right? So. Battlefields right. are more the well, Ken. Strategy. How come? How come you never got on the board to Battlefield, man? Why? But I I actually tried in Flex. Flex when you first got that uh, server, I thought, well, hell, I'll give it a try. So I jumped on one night and I ran with. Uh, I actually ran with Cisnet, uh, Corey, and Will, and a few others. And um, I just get too frustrated at the controllers. It just seems like if I think about shooting a gun, I go prone. And after that, just the frustration just would kill me. So if I'm in a vehicle, like uh, Will, Will would drive and he'd let me be the gunner. So that was fun, right? But uh, when I'd get out there and like a couple of times I had Cisna, he was on the other team and he'd go, 
clown and behind you turn around, you know, and it's like, how in the hell did you get behind me? It was just well, at least it, you have the uh, the the courtesy to uh, to let him let you know that you're about to lose your tags. Yeah, so it just just the frustration of of not being. I don't mind sucking, but I I don't want to suck because of a piece of hardware, right? So. Yeah. I'll talk to you about it later. So if they made a controller that disabled the press down on the right stick. Well, I'd have one. I'd have I'd have three of them. <laughs> just in case one of them broke. Because I know that you, that causes you some problems in in uh, Call of Duty too. I've seen it. It's the sensitivity. I've so I've, over the time I've actually gotten to where I don't do it as bad. So, it's, but the sensitivity in Battlefield just it just seems like if I breathe on it, man, it just pops. Yeah. I noticed in the Borderlands I do it a lot too, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't have the animation doesn't penalize you as it much. It doesn't penalize you, yeah. When you're driving the cars, it makes the car honk the horn. So when I'm driving... That's, it. That's why that stupid thing honks all the time. It's like it's honking <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> rush hour in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Those two together, but you're right. <laughs> I honk the horn all the time. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you could have a... Xbox controller custom, you know, uh, redesign so they take that out. So there's a there's actually a place here in Phoenix that uh, sells modified controllers. I thought about calling them or taking mine down there and say, "Can you disable the thumb thing?" Well, then you could or not you can, panic knife though. You can buy a programmable controller too. I think can't, can't, aren't some aren't some controllers programmable so you can set. Not, not for the Xbox that I've have found. If 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 okay. you know of one where I could disable that, I'd I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But then you couldn't panic knife at all. I'm good with that. I don't knife a lot of people. I'm not a knifer. If I come up behind you, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> I do too because if I miss with the, I always miss with the goddamn knife, so I shoot them. <laughs> exactly. I I do the same thing. It's like I I even suck at knifing. <laughs> how how are I mean, you tea bagging? I've walked up to people, <laughs> knife, tried to knife them, and have them turn around and shoot me. It's like, I'll shoot your ass. I hope. I heard one uh, day it was a uh, beef curtain. I always called uh, when the females did beef curtain, but it was called twat snatching or. I mean, it was funny. What are you talking about? Beef curtains? What? So when a female tea bags, obviously it's not. It was called something else. Oh, it's not tea bagging. Fur bagging. I called it, huh? It's fur bagging. Yeah, no, I uh, I always call it beef curtaining, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think tea bagging is still uh, still the term I would use. I don't know. I don't get the whole. I mean, everybody does it, but uh, I I don't teabag a lot, so I shoot and go on. I remember the I first time short. it ever happened to me. Uh, I really did deserve it. I mean, I was uh, up on a hill, laying laying on my belly, aimed down sight, pointed at a doorway, just waiting, waiting, yep. waiting. Guy walks up behind me. I see in the kill cam, he just stops. He's waiting. He teabags me a couple of times and then slash. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I had that coming. Yeah, yeah. That's why I won't watch kill cam, <laughs> especially if I've been. Uh, I guess where I don't set very much anymore because I hate being knifed from, like just like you talked about. So I'll watch the mini map, make sure some of my friends are around. If I camp any, if nobody's around, then I I move. I'm gonna move. Well, I, I actually will give it to you. You're you're pretty good. When you when you go into a camping mode, you do it well. I think, I think you're pretty good at it. Uh, so, people call that camping. I just I patrol an area, right? So I learned that actually from if you remember in the old days we used to share tips, and uh, I actually learned that from a uh, go away. So. Oh really? Yeah. I just uh, always looked at it as everybody's got their own style of play. You know, it's like me. I, I'm a I'm a run up front get shot kind of guy. Yeah, so I, I never understood why people get so upset over that. So what, that I'm camping in a door? It's part of the game, right? It's so, part of the game. You know what? Uh, when you get killed by a camper, that's when you're pissed. 
Yeah, but I, I get pissed anytime I get killed. <laughs> I like for the, I like to if I'm going to get killed, I'd like for it to be by a camper because I would like to be able to go back and return the favor. Well, the good thing is, if you do get killed by a camper, and he really is a camper, then you know where to go find him. Yeah. So if if I killed you, I will move. I may not move far, but I will not be in the same. So spot. you'll be in a different corner of the same, of the pointing at the same door. Yeah, maybe I'll just door and wait for you to run in because I know you're got blood in your eyes. You're not looking anywhere. Well, I Yo. think it's it is human nature to uh, go back and get the guy who got you. Oh, it is. So, but I, I have a limit now of one. If I go back and you kill me again, I ain't going to give you the pleasure the next time. I, I used to be really bad about that. You could kill me five times. Yeah, yeah. There's some guys that are really, really good at it, and they're just yeah. like, you just can't get them out of there. So I'll let you kill me. Uh, you can kill me, and if I go back and kill me again, good. More power to you. I, I'll, I'll move around, or I'll try and come around from the other side of the map, and if I happen to get there, then... So be it, but otherwise, man. Well, some guys are so good at camping. I, I laugh when I kill people more than twice. It's like, hey, you dummy. Yeah. I love it when uh, you get somebody that gets all steaming mad because they're getting killed by a camper, and you can hear them through the, to the, the chat. Death chat. Yeah, the death, the death chat. <laughs> uh, I heard that's yeah. coming back in Black Ops. I, that's kind of cool. I like it. I, I think it's Modern Warfare 3 had it. Yeah, I thought you got a little bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what started it. Was Modern Warfare 3? That's who created it. Like, oh, they're, oh, they're bringing it back. They're bringing okay, it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're not bringing back too much from Modern Warfare 3, but they are bringing that back. I hope they let well give you a token or let you bring at least one gun with you. Just there shouldn't you shouldn't be penalized so hard for prestiging. Well, we'll see how the prestiging works. Uh, there's no more kill confirm. They took that game out. Oh, really? I, kinda like, I got to where I like that one because that made everybody move. Yeah, a lot of people like Kill Confirm. I, I thought that was a winner. That uh, I love Kill Confirm because I can win. I can go like uh, 7 and 15 or 7 and 30 and still win the match. Yeah. Yeah. By picking tech. What about, um, what about Face Off? Do you know if that'll be there? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Not Black Ops 2 at all. That's too well, bad. We have people on. That's my favorite. Yeah. Those crazy private matches when we get like you know sixteen people on a on a map designed for six. <laughs> what's your what's your favorite mode, Flex? I like face off. Yeah, I yeah. really do. I like face off a lot because we mostly play against each other, and then it's just you know us people that we we know each other, and I like the small maps and stuff. It's what's fun. your favorite face off maps? I like getaway. I like I like U-turn. That's pretty good. Cool. Getaway is awesome. I want. I want to own that house. Yeah. 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 I want to live in that house. <laughs> it's there on the west I coast. Like the yeah. it's somewhere's on the west coast. Go look for it. So, somewhere on Malibu or something. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah, I, I, I like that other one. Uh, it's like. It's like a bunch of hills, and uh, it's like. The firing range, it's not a firing range. What is it? Uh, oh, uh, I know which one you're talking about. I can't remember the name of it. There's this, I'm not talking about pigs with the pigs. No, no, no. But there's this one big hill on one side. Yeah, exactly where you talk. I, that's my other favorite map. Yeah. I like. And everybody goes, tries to defend the hill. Yeah. <laughs> See how long you last. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that one too. And then some, some of the more recent ones. Erosion. I don't care too much about erosion. That's the one with the volcano in the background. Oh, they okay. got that one central tower that people can get up into sometimes. <clears throat> and then there's like the you can go down in the low areas, or you can go in the, in the. I don't like the ship one that much either. I don't care for the ship one. A ground. Yeah. Yeah, you posted that like day one too. I remember. Actually, that video got a lot of hits pretty fast. I uh, those uh, videos where I did like how to how to pick up chicks. I used uh, thumbnails of uh, girls in bikinis, and I got to tell yes. you that those videos <clears throat> have got have a lot, got of, a lot hits. of hits. I think the thumbnail had a lot to do with it. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments? <laughs> I enjoyed them. 
I could. It, it took me. It took me all morning to think of a, something that I could post uh, as a as a rebuttal. So I had to really think hard to come up with the. Oh my God! Here we go. Those videos got a lot of hits because I was in them. I'm the star. Uh, I'm trying to save you. We got to search throughout looking for you. I want to be saved because Yam Juice is a hunk of man. That's the roof he's talking. <laughs> yeah, Get out he's, got good. he's been yeah. feeding you roofies. Oh, see, you pushed it. Where, where did where did she go? Oh. oh. <laughs> 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 so, um, what what drove uh, what made you seek out a forum like uh, someone? It used to be called crap or whatever it was before you were in crap. Uh, you know what? I I wanted to play. It was just me and my brother playing, uh, you know, Black Ops, and it was fun. But I was looking to to play with other people, but I wasn't good enough to be in a clan. You know, I was, you know. So when I saw like the the blurb about crap, you know, below one KD, you know, it's four yeah. is four weak players. It's like yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you yeah, like, yeah, I met in another clan, but they were more like, uh, it was for people over 25, and they kind of, it, it was for people people over 25. You had to be 25 or older along the clan. And they acted like they didn't care if you were good or not, but if you weren't good, people would rage quit all the time. And so Yam found crap, and he invited me over, and we just followed on to sub one. Yeah, yeah, they sort of acted like uh, it was called too old to shoot. Uh, yeah. They acted like they didn't care if you weren't good, but uh, they they did. There were several people there who were really, really good, extra good, <clears throat> and. You know, you know when you're not wanted. Yeah. So then, you know, then we're playing with people who who like you and are willing to play with you, even though you know, even if you're getting your ass beat, they they still want to play with you. You're wrong. Yeah, we were wanted because we sucked and we were like kill bait. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, really, it, the thing what what would happen is. I'd be playing along and I'd be doing my usual crappy self and then somebody on my team would rage quit and I'd never know why. It's like I played Battlefield 3 the first time I played and I didn't know a lot about Battlefield 3 and I spawned on this guy and I didn't know he was sniping and I fired off a rocket launcher right by him and it pissed him off and he rage quit and I never knew why. And then in the forum uh, he posted, he bitched about it in the forum but he didn't name me by name. But he described the incident, and another guy came to my defense. But it was still like, okay, if that's the way you're going to be, you know, I'm, I'm a noob. I don't. I've never played the game before. You're not going to take the time to explain to me how I fucked up. Then what's the point? Yeah, it is pretty funny how like the worst insult that you can hurl at somebody is to call them a noob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. But, you know, what do you like about sub ones forums or? What's I like. What? I like sub one's forums because uh, everybody seems to get along. I mean, we, we seem to have a good time with them. Uh, I find a lot of humor in a lot of the posts. And I don't and know. And there's a lot of people yeah. on, and there's a lot of activity and a lot of chatter and stuff. Yeah. And uh, Who's that and, poster you got to see when they post? Say what? Who's the one poster you got to check to see when they Walmart post? Walmart Clown, of course. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, other than Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I usually look at I look at Shiz's because he's got a lot of good information I look yeah, at a lot yeah. of Shiz's posts and yams and yours but well if, I'd if say, Corey I'd say if Corey puts a post up I'll look at it because he doesn't put posts up very often yeah so uh, it's like when, when he does put one up I'll say oh Corey said something like okay I'll check that out yeah uh, I tend to like to see whatever Mad Moe's got to T Toby yeah. Pace, yeah. Yeah, I, I look at, there's not many that I don't look at. So. I look at every Fortunately, post. Fortunately, over over the time, you know, you and I have developed this little friendly friendly banter. So I, I never worry about 
uh, bantering with your post, Jam. So I always, when when you post, I go look. So okay, what can I? I know, I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we kid each other. What did he set, what, what did he set me up with this time? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I, that's what I like is uh, when you when you. You're, you're my straight. I usually use my straight man. <laughs> that's it. Well, well, when you when you have have developed friends good enough so that you can uh, yeah. kid each other a lot, you know. So that's yeah. that's when it really gets good. When you, yeah, I, I hope I'm, I'm sure people know that you know when you, when we, when we do that that they know we we say it laughingly. We're, we're pals, man. We're pals. <laughs> and me and Flex, we're like we're like BFFs. We're like uh, we're like even when you guys are are playing the game, like we we might be on Skype chatting. I think we chatted yesterday. Uh, I mean, we chat like several times a week, like face to face, like this. That's cool. That's good. Yeah. Well, that's because we've got this uh, this awesome show that we have to you know coordinate our efforts on. Absolutely, bulletproof underwear will return the tables tonight. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm sure at some point in the video we'll have to have that plug, you know, where uh, where the hot girls with their bosoms. Oh, definitely. Are gathered together. <laughs> they were great. I did was. I talked to them for a while. The girls, the high yeah, those girls. girls. I, 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 I treaded on thin, thin ice when I was doing that, but my wife didn't care. So, but I was asking them questions and stuff like how old they were and how long they'd been going to the Renaissance Festival. And what's, like, your, what's your sign? The best size was. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm sure all the videos from uh, uh, Yams how to pick up a chick really came in handy. That's right? it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the things I think is really cool about the forums is that uh, our friends across the pond. Yeah. I really, enjoy, I really, really, really enjoy. Uh, oh, I do too. Uh, gaming with those guys and chatting with them and uh, on the forum. So, so salute to all the guys across the pond. I, I, that's a big kick for me. Well, thank God that he's far enough away that we don't have to smell the cake on on Billy's breath. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I like the smell of cake. <laughs> I still play my even, you know, I, Modern Warfare 3 has kind of lost a little bit of its luster for me, but I still play pretty much every day during the day with Billy and uh, Junior. Yeah, yeah, I would, if I could, I would jump on with them. You, you yeah. guys are like the day crew. Yep, yep. <laughs> we play with, see that, and that's that's evening for everybody in the UK, so that's when they all get on. So yeah, so, so, yeah. I'm strictly with, the, uh, the 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 late shift here. I'm not uh, the early shift. Well, I'm the early shift, the late shift, and the super late shift because always we all know already. I never sleep. <laughs> every yeah, every no. time he blinks, I just slept for two seconds. That's it. He he catches right. little little second long naps. You know, all day long. I'm good. I'm good. No, I'll be able to play the rest of the night now after that nap. Now, Macum and uh, Den, or I, uh, all those guys, Billy, I really, that's a big kick for me to play with. The only thing when we play face off and uh, when we're on one of the UK servers, I know I'm just going to get the shit blasted out of me, but it's so much fun to. Uh, to be in the game and chat with those so guys. So even if you are a yellow or red bar in it, it's still it, good. Who it gets right? It's because good. They're they're good enough to do the inverse with us, right? Yeah. So, so you know, either you're gonna red bar it or they're gonna red bar it. Uh, no, it's just yeah, good yeah. to have. Go ahead, Flex. I'm sorry. They're fun to chat with. I mean, it's it's always a good time. Just if nothing else, to just chat with them and yeah, yeah. and uh, it goes back and forth. You know, like you said. Sometimes they red bar, sometimes we red bar. It don't really matter. Yeah. Well, you know what? I've had my ass beat by people with red bars many a time. You mean like a bike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's phenomenal. Yeah, man. yeah. Playing I mean, in Australia, yellow. he's got like a single bar, you know, and he still manages to kick your ass. I also like the fact that we uh, don't always just focus on gaming, right? So it's actually because of Din... I don't know. Dinjoga? 
yeah, thank you. And uh, Shibs and all them that uh, I went out and bought a camera. So. I thought it was just because you were a voyeur. Well, I am that, but I didn't. I already have those cameras. So, so you've got that camera rigged up in a shopping bag low, and you bring it up behind ladies. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do love my porn. That's uh, and, yeah. oh, that <laughs> is one thing. That's one thing I got in hot water for at the Renaissance Festival. I accidentally took a picture of a girl's ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have the same problem because the camera just auto focuses all over there. You know, it's like that's not what I was shooting at. I don't know. Well, it's tough when you're so on like vacation or something and you're at a beach. You yeah. know, you're you're at a swimming pool. You know, the uh, the camera just, you know, sometimes it controls itself. Yeah, that's no, right. So you, you look, there's a setting on there. It says TNA, and it automatically focuses, and it's like auto aim. <laughs> <laughs> You just put the camera up hey, you know what? We found out Flex and I own the exact same camera. I just bought a camera a couple of months ago. It's the exact same model that Flex has. That's because yeah. you guys, you know, yeah, yeah. I even don't see any foil in uh, in Flex's uh, room. No, Flex has a lens That's for his camera. I I just have the one that came with it. I got what the got the wall of of. Uh, fame over there with the lollipop chainsaw girl on it nice nice yeah you got the Blade. awesome man nope. cave you really do yeah. my wife what that. camera did you get it's the uh what is that camera? it's an what olympus uh pen what the hell is it called ah, here we go i got a little camera bag yeah. for it it's yeah, it's got oh, his hand. I got mine handy. I'm glad you should the camera bag. really... Uh, Our cameras are the helps. same color and everything. Well, I bet they are. I just... I bet they are. There you go. You do live in San Francisco. Let's start posting some pictures. What's up with you guys? So, yeah. I'm going to put some pictures up in a little while. In fact... Uh, yeah, are you on Flickr? Uh, I'm on uh, Photo Bucket. I'm on photo bucket. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this Skype call. This will be interesting here. Smile, guys. I'm on so Say cheese. Flicker. Photo bucket. But if you do... Uh, a keeper. So the reason I went to Flickr is because I can post it and then I uh, den whatever you said and then Shiz and all those can look at my settings and go, well, you should have done this. You should have done that. Ah. Okay. Well, see, this camera has all the fully manual settings but I don't know how to do jack shit with it, so I have a hard time using those settings. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> more often than not, I go into auto. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, post some pictures. All right, okay. okay. It takes good pictures, doesn't it, Flex? They do. They take really good <laughs> pictures. I'm going to post some on uh, a science festival. Zoom guy, bless you, or something like that. Yeah, well, this camera came out, I think it was like five or six hundred bucks, and I got it, I don't know, it's been out a year, I guess, and it was down to three hundred when I picked mine up. I don't remember what I paid for mine. I got it actually because it takes HD video, and, it's, and yeah. it's fully manual, so you can turn off that fucking autofocus on, you know how digital you know, camcorders have the autofocus that goes in and out of focus all the time? And yeah. they have like auto uh, exposure, so they're getting lighter and darker all the time. If if you, you know, somebody walks by, it, the exposure changes. The wall gets brighter or, or darker behind them. That's so annoying when you're taking video. So, I got this primarily for its video. That's how I shot. Flex, do you have print. a PS3? No, I don't. I had one. And when the breach happened, I got really pissed off and I sold it. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to get one? So, I sold, as a matter of fact, I sold it right away so that I got top dollar for it. Oh, oh. So you you're, you're on both you're in both sides of the clan, so to speak. Yeah. I I, I thought about getting a PS3 just to go there and chat with everybody because I think sometimes we on the forums I think we misunderstand one another. I think that happens sometimes. Yeah. Well, you know what's fun is to do clan ops with those guys. 
Oh, I'd love to go there and do that. Uh, I think yeah. they're more gung ho. I think they're more gung ho on the clan ops than Xbox is. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I see that all the time, which is cool for them. Yeah. Yeah. We. Uh, it's hard now on clan ops to get. Uh, I mean, we struggle to get silver. <laughs> I know. Well, like last weekend, I didn't partic participate in any of them because I had stuff going on and. Then I slept one night, I think. I, I, I did. Uh, I did Friday evening. I played that one, and then uh, had a birthday on Sunday party. I had to attend to, and I worked. Uh, I worked like twenty hours Saturday night, Sunday morning, so I didn't do that. When I woke up, I went and played golf. So. Well, when they first came out, I was real gung ho for them, and I I did it for a while. Oh wow, we've been on uh, we've been on this call for just about two hours now. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up here in a minute. Yeah, I just have a hard time with the whole elite and uh, clans and. I do uh, too. I think I, it, I, I think it wrecked things. It splintered. Yeah, it splintered, I, you know, our group a little bit for sure. Well, because until we got adjusted to what a clan is, you know, I I don't run sub one. I run. You can kiss my ass, but I'm not gonna go create my own elite clan with it, right? No, no. I mean, you could. I mean, you could just like... Uh, well, that's why I developed You Can Kiss My Ass is because I didn't care. <laughs> 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 but, and the, the other thing is, I, I do the clan ops just so that I can run with everybody, right? Because we have Bacon, we have Vet, and we have us. So it's, I just run for it. I could care less what uh, level we are. True, true. I mean, well, it would be nice... Just for the sake of achievement, like you're talking about, you know, getting that next achievement. If we do manage to hit level 50 at some point, that would be nice just cause to say we did it. I, I, I feel like sometimes that that draws um, people who just want it, us for the clan level. I mean, it's, the clan level is not what we're about. I, I personally feel the reason I'm a member and stay an active member is not because... Of that number that's on that tag. That's your. That's. I. I would it say two. I'd be happy if it said two, and it still said we suck. That, that's pretty fucking irrelevant. But there are some people who, have, who've asked to join because we're high level. Yeah. You yeah. See, I think that. No. I think we we got it by hard work, right? We didn't get it because we're all flat on the Xbox. Though, we certainly didn't get it because we're all flashy flashy players. That's for damn sure. Well, you're a flashy yeah. player because you like to flash. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but most of us have either a below one or a right at one, right? I think there's very few exceptions. Lucky boy may be an exception. Yeah. But well, yeah. There's he, he plays a lot of objective games, so he kind of yeah, even yeah. though he's really good, his KDR could be a lot higher. But he plays a lot of objective games, yeah, and that's what keeps yeah. his. Well, KDR if he low. wanted to be a, if he wanted to boost his KD as high as he could go, he could he could really. Yeah, yeah. He'd easily be at two. He he might could get pretty close to two because uh, you know he he does jump on flags and stuff. Yeah, and that's how you get yeah. kills. But so for me, it's just a camaraderie. I could care less. I've gotten to where I I'm kind of like put off of domination and uh, and and uh, drop zone and games like that where you know you're trying to play the objective and the people on the enemy team they're just. They're sniping from the far away, and they're just, you know, yeah. they're just spawn trapping and kill horning and stuff. It's like it's no fun. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in for whatever everybody else is. And when I play alone, I play, uh, which I do a lot lately because on the Xbox side, uh, it's getting thin on Modern Warfare. Um, I play bare bones and whatever that throws me in is what I play. Well, I've been, I've been yeah, I, Borderlands. I was pretty busy playing Black Ops a lot. Yeah, so I would jump on with, with you and Bejewel and those at night. Just again, at the which one we play, I could care less. Yeah. Well, I'm sure when Bejewel called just a few minutes ago, it was like, "Hey, you want to get on Borderlands?" I bet you that was what it was about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, Saturday, Friday or Saturday night, I think it was yeah. Me and her stayed up till two in the morning, because I was technically working. So well, I I, I hope you uh you know I hope your bosses appreciated oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. 
<laughs> they don't know what happened. So. Yeah. So tomorrow is uh, we're we're taping this on uh, on a Monday night. So tomorrow is the turd. You're gonna be there. Uh, I should be. Yeah. 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 That's uh, Modern Warfare Three. Full turd. Full turd tomorrow. Yeah. We don't get as many people when we try Black Ops. We get a better turnout when we do Modern Warfare Three. Why is that? I don't know. I guess I it's because it's the current game. Yeah, because so, uh, I, I know one of the reasons I wanted to get a PS3 was because the uh, PS3 side runs a lot of uh, Black Ops, at, and I thought, well, I'll just get one of those. And I could pick up the game cheap. I could pick up, but you can't pick up a PS3 cheap. That's what I can get a I can get a brand new Xbox for 120 bucks. I'm not a brand new, but a refurbished one for 120. How much is a refurbished cheaper. PS3? They're still pretty far up there, like close to 200 bucks. I thought, like GameStop. I can look it up real well, quick. You know what? When they first came out, the fact is that it could play Blu-ray was a big deal. But yep. I've actually decided that I don't give a shit about Blu-ray. It's like I get my movies off Netflix, man. I was Yeah. So I, I use, and I, for those that are Apple people, I use Apple TV. Okay. It works it doesn't. It has not, but it has Netflix, and you can get them off iTunes, and so I just stream it directly to that little. Yeah, I just stream it. Good. If I want to watch TV, I stream it. I, I very rarely will put a disc in anymore. I had so much. I had such a large porn library. Library that I didn't want to change over to Blu-ray. So, so uh, what? What was your favorite uh, Asians in schoolgirl uniforms? Uh, no, I'm I'm in the midgets. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the deal with all this Asian porn with, with schoolgirl uniforms? <laughs> all all their porn has got schoolgirls in it. That's just a little oh, sick, don't you think? Those Japanese. Uh, what did you just the, say? The, the the Japanese porn that has the the the, the schoolgirls in their oh, little okay. school uniforms. Yeah. I yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, that is a little sick. It seems like yeah. that is really a, a big thing. Yeah. Well, either that or the pornographic cartoons. Yeah, I forget what that's called, too. I forget what it's called. It's not that hot, though. <laughs> you know, different strokes for different maybe folks. If you're, maybe if you're 13, you know, it gets, it gets yeah. your blood running. <laughs> well, when you and I were growing up, the service catalog had to survive. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> Monkey Wars. It's like, which... which, which Catalog was hotter, <laughs> Sears or Monkey Wars. <laughs> Kleenex consumption would have tripled if we did uh, internet uh, and when we were using. We had uh, <laughs> we had National Geographic too when I was a kid. Yeah, I forgot about that too. Yep, yep. Yeah, they would always have like these uh, these African villages, and they always have pictures. I, I know. <laughs> Fortunately for me, we got that. But see, being the youngest, also as my brothers had all the Playboys in. Yeah, my first exposure to Playboy, we, uh, you know, uh, my mom worked, and uh, so she was dropping us off at this this babysitter, and her husband, under the bed, he had a big stack of them. Nice, the mother load. And when the uh, when the when the gal who was babysitting us was like in the kitchen making lunch or something, we would be, we'd be into those, checking it oh, out. Absolutely. God, you learn so, so much so fast. So when we were about twelve or thirteen, we used to we used to be a little store that we all went to. We'd ride our bicycles down. Back then, you know, a quarter would get you a, a, a soda and some candy, right? So we'd ride our bicycles. We, we, we thought we were we'd buy a loaf of bread, and of course they put it in a long sack, and then they had the magazine rack as you walked out the door. <laughs> so one of us would have it already rolled up. The other one buy a loaf of bread. We stick it in there and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, then when you go to somebody's house and have a circle jerk or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, we trade it. We we alternate. And I, sorry, there's just some things I prefer not to do with them. <laughs> <laughs> so you you always wanted to be the guy who got got it first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> they, they could, could use every page. This magazine, the pages are stuck. Can't yeah, separate exactly. them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember <laughs> my cousins, my two cousins, their dad. He used to get the hustler, and we were looking at the hustler, and my yeah. one cousin, yeah. I think he was eleven. He was 
You know what? If we look at these dirty pictures, my dick gets hard. <laughs> yeah. That's where it came out later when That's the point. Yeah. Yeah, that cusser came out later. Then, then yeah. you figure out what to do with that thing. You know. Oh yeah. You know, once it once it gets like it's that, like, there's something else that you can do with it too. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> that wasn't a mystery for long. <laughs> yeah. So. <clears throat> we better wrap up the bitch, man. It's been a long one. All right. Hey, yeah. Flex, get your mic nice and close to your mouth here, so we can hear you. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I'm sorry, I keep moving it around. So we're we're all seasoned pros here. We know what to do. So Ken, you you since you're hosting the show, and Lex and I are your guests. You uh you you trigger you trigger this event. Let me get in this in the starting position. Get ready for it. This is episode thirteen, this right? This is episode lucky thirteen. Of course, episode thirteen would be would be Walmart clown hosting. So, on behalf of Flex and Yam, this is the Walmart clown with episode thirteen wrapping up. We turned the tables tonight. We went deep. We dropped the underwear. Thank you for attending. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, that was wholehearted. That was wholehearted. Penny's last week was just a little bit on the, you know, he was a little... He was a little... A little timid. A little yeah, timid. I, I hope we can get more people to do it because uh, I really enjoy uh, seeing everybody. Well, nobody's going to sit there and watch the episode from start to finish, but maybe they can no. click on it, look at a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's maybe. why I say I, I skim all, all the way through it. Maybe what we should do is uh, chop it up into episodes, like into mini ups or something. I don't know. Maybe, but it's enough work. It's enough work to, to, to get it it together. Is, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. Well, see, this is kind of late uh, in the schedule. So usually we've already. Well, actually, Monday is not super late to be taping it, but the fact is that we didn't have it set up until just today. Yeah. It was. Uh, I was sweating a little bit. I saw you post that, and I'm thinking, well, you know, you can't do another interview of me. We've done that a couple times already. I thought, well, all right, I'll interview you guys. <laughs> so this this week, you're the host, and uh, your your guests are Flex and Yam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, yeah, we got to oh, we got to keep it going. We got to get people to maybe maybe uh, we'll post uh, we'll start posting shit like that too as when it comes out on Friday. Yeah, we're trying to get Pony on. Uh, he's a busy guy. He's I, just so busy. He's got so much going on. Well, you know, I just want to see if he's as dreamy looking, you know, uh, on video yeah. as he is in his still pictures. Because uh, I'm about to turn. I'm about to turn for that man. I thought you were going to get Billy. Well, we're trying. We're, we're, tr we're trying. He's he's kind of resistant, but we're trying. See, Oprah yeah, gets all the good guests. You know, we just have to take what we can get. 